Okay, what we need to do now is start joining our frame together. Um, so we need to join our four edge beams together in the corner. So you just overlap the notching. Uh, we use our joiner plate tucked into the corner like so. Uh, you can hold that together with a, a clamp. Okay, once we've got that bracket attached, then we need to put it on our other small um, corner bracket. That goes just in here. Okay, once we've got our four uh, edge beams connected, we need to now connect our cross beams. Um, so what we need to do is on our smaller cross beams, we need to put our JA3 bracket. Um, now simply just keep it flush with this edge and the top edge. And you've got two pre-drilled pre holes in the bracket. So you use them as a guide to drill through your cross beam. Just through the center. And drill it out with your 10 mil bit. Okay, once we've drilled out our holes, we need to put a bracket on both sides, like so. Okay, once we've got that in place, tighten it off. We need to do the same down the other end and then obviously the same with the other smaller cross beam. Okay, once we've attached our JA3 brackets uh, onto our cross beam, we need to then mark out uh, using the instruction manual where our cross beams are gonna be, be positioned. And then we uh, only attach the uh, inside two or the center two cross beams to the edge beam. The outer ones are gonna be attached uh, onto your posts and your top column bracket after we've stood it up. So once we've marked where our cross beams are going to go, we're going to now drill out and um, and bolt our cross beam onto our uh, edge beam. We just want to mark and position where we want to drill our holes. We'll take this cross beam or out of the way, drill our holes, then with your 10 mil bit. Get our cross beam back into position. Now with our little jointer plate and our 10 mil uh, nut and bolt, we just sit that jointer plate behind and then uh, we're just gonna bolt on our, um, our cross beam. Okay, once you've got them in there now, we just need to lock, lock that in with our socket uh, and then obviously do the same down the other end and to the other cross beam. Okay, once we've got our cross beams um, in place, now we're ready to attach our back legs um, on the pivot point, so just one area, and then that'll enable us to stand the back up, um, and then we can do the front. So, so the pivot point is that top uh, hole that we drilled out earlier, with the top holes that were drilled uh, for the top column brackets in the edge beam. So just with your 10 by 20 nut and bolt, Feed that through, and again, washer on your nut. Now when you tighten that pivot uh, on, don't lock it all the way. Obviously we need some flexibility in there as we stand it. Uh, this whole bracket needs to uh, twist as we bring the legs up so we can bolt them into the other holes in the edge beam. So once we've got this one, we do the other side, and then we're ready to stand up. Okay, once we've got our, uh, our post attached at our pivot point onto our edge beam, we now need to attach our cross beams onto our other part of our top column bracket. So your pre-punched holes in your cross beam, they'll line up with the pre-punched holes uh, in your top column bracket. And just get your 10 by 20 nut and bolt. 
feed it through and just tighten that up, lock that into place and do that with the rest of the crossbeam. Okay, what we need to do now, um, we've got our crossbeam bolted in, post ready to go. Now we just need to stand one end of the carport up. So obviously good to have a hand when you do this, you'll need it. So we just lift our edge beam, our frame. Once we've got our other legs bolted into place, um, same process as what we did with the back, we do with the front. We lock our uh, cross beam in, we've got our pivot points locked in. Now it's time to stand the front up. Um, just make sure before you stand it up that you have got those back legs supported um, and then uh, we're good to go. Okay, once we've got our uh, carport stood up, uh, you then need to square it off. Okay, so make sure your diagonals are correct. Uh, make sure your posts are all plumbed using a spirit level. Um, then it's time we need to anchor it down. Uh, so hammer drill. Obviously repeat that process with the other three legs. Okay, once we've got our carport diner bolted, now we, it's very important we go around and we check every nut and bolt um, has been securely uh, tightened. So every bolt, um, make sure it's been tightened with a socket um, or a shifter. Um, once we've done that, um, what we need to do then is just put some wafer tech screws in each corner just to hold our notch uh, in place and then that sealed the carport off, we're ready to start uh, sheeting the roof. <laughs> 